Speaking of Collingwood, Ed, you, your club has launched an internal investigation into the latest set of allegations by Heredia Lumumba. This story broke on Monday night. And interesting today on SBS's The Feed, two former Pies, Brent McCaffer and Chris Dawes, have actually legitimised some of the allegations made by Heredia, saying they do remember the nickname Chimp, something a lot of players have said in the past they haven't. The only thing I would ask you, Ed, mm. and many people are asking this question, is it right that you're investigating yourself? You've got two directors and your CEO, and you've also... I, I think they're all three, three white people. And no, they're, they're not. No, Jodie Sizer is an Indigenous woman. I apologise. Yeah. They're all Collingwood... Yeah, uh, no, I'm uh, sorry, no, I, didn't, I forgot about no, Jodie. Three, and there's going to be others, independents, added on to that, which will be announced in the next couple so of days. So it's not just an internal... No, you're not just investigating no, yourself? No, not at all. And this is a search for the truth. This is something that's felt very deeply by everybody at the club. And we want to find the truth, and that could be... And that might, will probably be everyone's truth. Were you surprised and, by the comments by Dawes no. and McCaffer? No, I, I know Chris Dawes. I spoke to Chris Dawes. I used Chris Dawes, I told you this two weeks ago, as my uh, envoy, if you like, to get to Heredia to talk to him about so coming home. So he already told you the chimp allegation? No, I didn't know about that so much. I, I, I've never heard it. Okay, so you, but, were, you were surprised to hear players had heard it? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to discuss this because we're doing an investigation. I know a lot of things that are going on now because I'm hearing things Fair as enough. well. Your and, coach and what we're going Buckley... to do is we're not going to do... I mean, we'll get to Bucks in a second. Yeah. But my point is we're going to do this with compassion. We're going to do this forensically, but we're not looking to prosecute. We want to find what, what has gone on. And I've spoken to some people and I've found different things that I... The nuances that I had no idea. Ed, because, I, I mean, if you don't have externals, it might look like a cover-up. No, we're, we are having externals, yeah. OK. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Well, Nathan Absolutely. Buckley was really interesting on this topic today. Here he is. I, I can say, from my perspective, that I've learned things today, last week, um, two weeks ago, that I was not aware of. Um, from Heritia's perspective. In regards to the nickname, the only mouth I've heard that nickname out of was Heritia's himself when he told me about it. Um, that's categoric. Clearly my character is, um, is being questioned in, in yeah, terms of race. Um, and, I, and I know where I stand in that regard. Just to give that context, I was senior coach for 13 years. I tried not to call players by their nicknames and there'd be a number of nicknames of players that I coach that I would be unaware of because you don't mix in, you don't talk yeah. their language, you don't mix with them and you sit outside of it. There's a subculture that goes on below you in the locker room. I virtually never went into the locker room because that was their, their space. So I believe Nathan and I take him at his word and I think people that question that are being disrespectful. I think, uh, Cara, just to you know, uh, get to your point, this is something that we we really want to get into and find out and grow from and look after. And we want to look after Heritia and we want to find the truth all the way through this. It's not about trying to hide anything or manipulate. This is absolutely going to be straightforward. We want to do something, not only because of the climate the world's in at the moment, but Heredia is a Collingwood Premiership player. I Has want he to... indicated he'll talk to you? Uh, at the moment, the indications have all, all, all been that he's not going to talk, but we will hopefully win his trust with what we're doing. And as I said, Jody Sizer, who is a, 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 an expert in this area, who's been on the board. She's one of only two Indigenous uh, board members in the AFL and she's been on our board for the last two years. And I met her during our reconciliation action plan and I was really impressed with what she could bring to our club. And I've been very conscious of particularly Indigenous Australians and Indigenous Collingwood supporters being uneasy with the, the relationship with our club. So we've been working on this for a long time and now we're getting into this specific, specific aspect of it and I can guarantee you that there's not going to be anything swept anywhere. This is something that we're going to really go through and it's, you know, the compassion involved in this is going to be at the utmost and, uh, you know, let's see where it lands.